Good morning, folks. We've got top science news, and we're watching the last 24 hours on our star. Since we last spoke, the sunspots have turned onto the Earth-facing disk. As you can see, the equatorial coronal hole is approaching central heliographic longitudes. We had only minor pops and snaps and crackling on the Earth-facing circle, but the filaments and the northern sunspots now do provide a solar watch in the days ahead. Also, while these sunspots have crested into view, Looking at SDO 171, we can see that there is an even brighter area just behind the limb, maybe another day away from visibility, and that is appearing to have much more energy than those smaller spots out ahead of it. Eyes on that. Up next, we're looking at the articles and we come first to SALT find their discovery of a four-star system. It's two close binaries that are each orbiting the other pair, and they say that this system is ripe for nova events in the future given the short orbital period and therefore higher potential for accretion or merger events. And then we're at Hubble, and we're kind of shaking our heads. Oh, you found a black hole and measured its mass, did you? How did you do that? Oh, by watching the light of a star change over time. Don't suppose that's a dimming or post-nova return to normalcy, Folks, 99% of deep space astronomy involves nothing remotely close to observing what they describe in their conclusions. They observe light curves, spectroscopy, proper motion, but then make wild assumptions and guesses. A star dimmed here, that's all you can say. But this is very interesting. They say Earth's core rotation is variable, that at one point about 50 to 60 years ago it actually sub-rotated for a couple years, moving more slowly than the mantle above it but that when it surged, it did so to a considerable super rotation. Now, if you think you've heard this before, you're right. Right here, back in April, when we discussed the more recent core excitation and surge of rotation speed. In that one, the core was either locked to the mantle in equal rotation or in extreme super rotation. And while it is not the first call we reported earlier this year, this newer paper confirms the concept of the unlocked mantle and core and tells us that the more recent period, which lacked subrotation, is likely related to the days growing shorter now, as the two fastest years have been the last two, and we are about a month away from breaking the fastest day on record, yet again, on the way to breaking the yearly record, yet again as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Eyes on the sun today. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.